But first, let's get the oxygen to our brain. Let's move today to delay decay. Here we go. Ready? There are so many wonderful people in the world. Wonderful. Full of wonder. Like, how do they know how to do that? Or why are this, why are they that way? You really have to wonder about some people. Well, I want to tell you about a man who died last year at the age of 97. When he was 15 years old, he went to a lecture by Paul Bragg. And Mr. Bragg was traveling around America telling people, eat healthy, exercise. Well, this 15-year-old boy listened. And he listened because he didn't feel good. He was sick. He'd grown up on junk food and sugar. And he was mean, too. Well, he listened, and he got healthier and healthier. And by the time he was 21, he opened up the first gym in America. And he got a television show, and he encouraged billions of people to exercise and eat healthy so they could be the best that they can be. And this exercise is named after him. His name is Jack Lalane. Thank you, Jack Lalane. For teaching us about health. Woohoo! Okay, I'm not quite ready to sing, but getting all that oxygen to my brain, I have the math out for you today. I wanted to show you a book. It's called Geography Songs Sing Around the World by Larry and Kathy Troxell. It's got some really good songs to help us remember the names of countries and continents and oceans. So I want to teach you a song about continents and oceans. So when you go back to school, you're going to be so smart. So see if you can follow me. If you can find the continent before I find it. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Africa, Antarctica, these are the continents. Indian, Arctic, and the Pacific, and the Atlantic are the oceans. Indian, Arctic, and the Pacific, and the Atlantic are oceans. Isn't that cool? This white paper here is going to something new I want to start with you. And it's a timeline. This timeline begins with the year 600 and it goes to now. And when we learn about a person that I feel ha has a significant part to play in music history, we're going to put their name up there. Okay, we're going to learn the song that we just sang on the guitar. We'll be doing the boom chick strum. And this song is played in the key of D. When someone says to play a song in the key of D, primarily the chords that are going to be played are D and G and A. And you know all of those. So we'll start on D. And we're doing the boom chick. North America. sang a song called This Land is Your Land. 
hope you've learned it. I wanted to tell you about the man that wrote that song. His name was Woody Guthrie. His name, he was named after Woodrow Wilson, who was a president. And he lived in Oklahoma. Oklahoma's in America, remember? He was born in 1914, and he lived during a time in American history called the Great Depression. A lot of people didn't have, any, have very much money at all. And also during that time, the weather was very bad. It was dry, there was no rain for a long time. And so in Oklahoma and in other places in America, it was called the Dust Bowl. The farmers couldn't grow food because there was no rain. So people had to move to different parts of the country to get work so that they could survive. So Woody sang songs about his experiences of life during that time. And This Land is Your Land was one of the songs he wrote. He had a nickname. It was called the Dust Bowl Troubadour. A troubadour is someone who goes around singing songs. And Woody is also known as an American folk musician. Folk music, folk music is a genre of music. And there are two kinds of folk music. Traditional folk music and contemporary folk music. Contemporary folk music was in, was, began in the 1960s and it was basically people were getting all excited about the old songs. And traditional folk music is basically old songs that have been passed on down the generations. Um, it's been recent in human history that there is recorded music. For many, 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 many years Music wasn't recorded. There was no electricity, there was no radio, there was no TV, there were no iPhones, no iPads. And so people would sing songs when they were out working because most of the work that was done was manual labor. There was no electricity, so life was a lot harder in some respects. So when they were, people were out planting in their fields and picking cotton, they would sing music. So folk music is about songs of a certain type of geography and the culture in that geography. So Woody was singing songs about his culture in America. I hope you learned something new today. I certainly did. We're going to put Jack LaLanne. I personally don't know if he played um, a musical instrument, but his whole life was music to me. I love Jack Lane. He was born in 1914, so we're going to put him over here. And Woody Guthrie was born a few years before him in 1912. Unfortunately, Woody Guthrie died at the age of 55 of Huntington's disease. Some people I love very much have Huntington's disease. We hope that there's a cure for it someday. Well, it's time to go. I'm going to go visit my good friend Carolyn at Vintages in Fort Collins. See ya!